What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute full body workout. I really think you're going to love this workout today. No worries if you can't jump around. This is a no impact strength workout. We're going to cover your upper body and then your lower body, the posterior chain specifically, so glutes and hamstrings, and then we'll finish out with some core. The only thing aside from dumbbells that you're going to need today would be a glute resistance band in our lower body section. We're going to have some glute kicks from the side and from the back, so make sure you have something like that. If you don't have yours, you can always check the link in the description but we're going to rock through three minute circuits three rounds through and then we'll move down to the next one just focusing on one body part at a time so it's still fire week it is tier number two so make sure you check the description to grab your workout calendar for this month and also make sure you are subscribed right here before we get started and let's go ahead and get warmed up all right let's go ahead and cross your arms over your chest three two one here we go good side step and welcome to tier number two of Summertime Fine. If you haven't grabbed your workout calendar, it is all in the description below, but it's gonna be a big, big month of strength training. We have a couple more workouts in this longer endurance phase. Two here, and then we rock into that hypertrophy and muscle development phase twist here. But as for today, 60 seconds of work per exercise, three in a circuit, three rounds through, we're going to work strength style, but we're focusing still on that endurance. Okay, heels to glutes. Let's stretch out the quads. I know they might be sore. I feel you. Mine are too. We're working hamstrings and glutes today, so we'll give them a little rest. But let's just stretch them out so everything moves well. Good job. Step it back and let's kick nice and high. Pull your toe back towards your face. One more each side. Good, hands on your hips, go back and stand. One more. There we go, great job. Gentle push forward just to open up the hips a little bit. Take one arm up and switch. One more each side. Great job. Let's get started with bent rows. In seven seconds, we're just gonna go with the right arm, okay? I'm gonna use my bench here. I'm gonna get started, let's go. Two, one, 60 seconds. Great job. We'll go here and then we'll go other arm and then we'll grab the other dumbbell and do both arms. Good form, keep your chest a little bit open. 30. Good. 14. And we switch arms. Two. One, other side, switch it right over, keep going. Shoulder blade goes back before you bend your elbow. Good, feel the difference there? You're just bending here. It's a lot of bicep work. I need you to engage your back by pulling the shoulder blade and then rowing. Good work. 15 seconds, you're just gonna pull that other dumbbell into the equation. We're gonna go left and then right, alternating for a minute to close out our rows. Two, one, grab the other dumbbell, keep going. 
Last 60 of rows. Nice job, there we go. Squeeze the shorter blade, then bend. Good. Give me 15 more really strong seconds. Couple more, each arm. One more big pull, two, one, 30 seconds rest. Good job. We're moving into chest press. If you have a bench, I pulled mine out so I can use it, but you can do this on the floor as well. Okay, same thing. Single arm press, single arm press. Then we'll grab the other dumbbell and do both, okay? All right, so with the press, I want you to come to the outside of your rib cage and then neutral up in the middle. So you're right over your sternum, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Side, middle, neutral. Yeah. yeah. That little internal rotation with your pinky coming in towards the sternum is just gonna activate your pec a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 seconds. What? Yeah. 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 Good work. 10 more seconds and you switch that dumbbell to your other arm. Last one, and then bring it down and switch. Next 60, let's go. Turn up the tempo a little bit more. If these reps are slow, come on, move that weight. Keep it moving. Keep breathing, you got 30 seconds. They're just gonna sit up, grab the other one, and roll right into that last minute. Last press, then grab the other one. All right, go ahead and grab it. Last 60 in two, one, come on, both arms. Go, go, go. Turn up that tempo if you can. One arm's gonna feel a little bit more tired than the other one, just focus on the other one, right? Don't focus on the, the one that's a little tired. Your strong one, think about that. That's your display of strength for both of them. Mentally, go there. Perfect, last 30. Good, push, push, push. One more. And rest, beautiful. All right, three shoulder moves and then we'll move into lower body, okay? First one you have alternating high row, one, two, okay? Second minute, keep that same weight, Arnold press, one, two, okay? Third one, you're gonna drop the weight down to a lighter weight, alternating lateral raises, okay? So let's start with the high row, grab both weights and put them out. Right, high row, let's go. And 
In this one, we're hitting some rear delt. Okay, your shoulder has three muscles in the group. Dragging it right up your body and just right outside of your chest. Good job. A little pull at the top towards your chest. Just a little rear delt engagement. Fifteen, and then we'll go alternating Arnold press. Three, two, one, right here. Up, back around. Great job. Thirty. Ten. One more each arm. Come on. When you finish one more each arm, grab those light weights. Here we go. Alternating lateral raise. Two, one. Keep it moving, come on. If you can go double time, go for it. We got 30 seconds left. If you've got the strength left, go both arms together. Come on, come on, come on. Good job. Last 19. There we go, shoulders. Come on, nine. One more all together, two, one, and rest for 30. Great job. If you've got a glute band, go ahead and grab it. All right, circuit style on this one. So one, two, three, one, two, three. We're gonna go lateral kick outs. Okay, then we're gonna go rear kick backs. And then we're gonna go Romanian deadlifts. Okay, so body weight for the first two or with your band. And then your deadlifts will be after that. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Keep breathing. Make sure you're not leaning to lift, okay? This just happens without work, okay? Stay here, drive the heel up and out. Thirty seconds. Good job. Fifteen. And we're gonna kick the heel back. Okay. This is abduction. We're gonna go to hip extension after this. Five. Three. Two, little hinge, let's go. Kick, back, kick, back, 60 seconds. Heel up, not toe. Good, squeeze at the top too. Drive up, come on, come on. 20. Get ready to grab those dumbbells for your Romanian deadlifts. 
15. 15. All right, here we go. Two, one, deadlift it out. Come on. Gliding right on the outer edge of your legs. Strong back. You still have your band on. Just drive your knees against the band a little passively. Dig your heels into the floor. Last 30. Good. Then if you're okay with it, we're just gonna go right back into your abductions, okay? Straight through this circuit. I know you can do it. Instead of our 15 second rest, it's fire week. All right, this is our exchange. <laughs> One more deadlift and then drop it down. Good job. Three, two, take it to the side and keep going. 60 right here. Great work. Lead with the heel. If you're going up toe first, it's a lot of quad, and we need the quads to rest. Thirty. Get ready for your kickbacks in fifteen. Four, three, two, take the heel back, go. And also you can hold on to something if that would help, right? Just make sure you get to that point where you feel the squeeze in the top of your glutes. Good job. You ready for your deadlifts in just about 15 seconds. If you can go heavier, grab that next set. Good job. Three, two, Deadlifts, go. That's it, breathe. Keep your back strong, okay? Shoulders should never come towards your chest. They should be fighting to stay away from it. Thirty. <sighs> Last one, then drop those dumbbells and we go right back into it. Two, one. Lift, come on. Three minutes, you're done with your lower body. We close it out with core. Come on, glutes. Let's go, strong glutes. Leg on the ground also does work, so don't just let it shift in. Fight out. Your knees don't like each other right now, so fight away. Fight to hold strong here. 30 seconds. And look down at your knees, make sure they stay strong. Look down at your heel, make sure it's leading the way up. 
15. Good job. Kickbacks, two, one, let's go. Don't be bending your back more, okay? If you're here and then you're kicking back and you got this lower back arch, you're not using your glutes enough. Lift with the glute and think of lifting it up. Thirty. We'll hit one more round of deadlifts, and we're done with lower body. Fifteen. Last one. Two. One. Deadlifts. Let's go. Keep your arm near your armpit. If you're getting down to the bottom and you've got this big space, your back is definitely relaxed, okay? If your back is turned on, it's gonna stay close, okay? Fifteen, you're doing great, come on. Last one, three, two, one, rest. Good. 30 seconds and you're gonna meet me down on the floor. Take off your band, move your dumbbells out of the way. Whew. And we've got a little core to close it out here. Throw a dumbbell right on your chest if you can. Dumbbell sit-ups, exercise one. Okay, so we're here and up. If you're not ready for the dumbbell, it's body weight. Let's go. Two, one, come on. There you go. As you exhale, pull your ribs like they're getting closer to your hips, and then look up. Diagonal is where you want to go. Okay, so I'm here. I'm looking to take my chin here, not straight down to my chest. There you go, 30. Good, seven seconds. We're gonna sit up, twist, go back down. Two, one, let's go. I'm taking my elbow to my opposite quad. Great job. As you exhale, you create more space for your core to really contract. Okay, come on. 30. Good, three seconds, drop your dumbbell. Overhead and tuck. Let's go. Modification, just one leg. Just crunch it in, okay? Good stretch. 
exhale. Nice job. Thirty seconds, then we'll jump right back into dumbbell setups. No rest. It's fire week. Come on, push, push. Speed these up if you can. Squeeze harder if you can. Last one, and grab your dumbbell. Let's go right back into it. Dumbbell sit-ups. Two, one. We got one more round of all three of these, and then we'll close it out with a little core finisher. Twenty seconds, you go sit up and twist. One more, and the next time you come up, twist. Left elbow to right knee, go. And if you can, try not to come all the way up in the sit-up. Okay, come up to where you still feel like you're trying to get up, and twist there. Come on, fight for it, 30 seconds. Breathe, 20. You're gonna drop your dumbbell in 15 and go for the suitcases, last round. One more, three, two, one, suitcases open, close. Good job. Come on, work hard. Fifteen seconds, you're going to flip over into a forearm plank. Yes, you can. You can do this. Come on. Don't worry about it. No panic. No frustration. All strength. Four, three, two. Come on. On your forearms. Two minutes and we're done. I'll switch it around so you're not just going to be right here. Great job. 15. Keep a nice neutral core. Good. Right elbow is on the ground. Left arm is going to come up right here. If you need to stack your knee, do that. Flip over to a side plank. Go. 30 right here. Just so you know what you're getting into. Open your chest. Open your hips. Use your bottom shoe to kind of get traction. So your foot is on top foot is on the sole of your bottom shoe, kind of pushing. <sighs> Hips up. Flip it over in four. Three, two, one. Other arm, go. Open it up. There you go. Shoulder right over the elbow.
Good, hips up. Five seconds, you're back to your elbows. Three, two, one, right back here. Hold strong for 30. Body saw, forwards, backwards. Go, push, and pull. Keep your butt down. Bring your chest over your forearms and then back behind your elbows. Eight seconds, seven, six, five, and drop. You've made it to your cool down. I need you to lock it in that you finished this workout by giving it a thumbs up. Go ahead and do that now. And let's cool it down. Sit back, reach forward. Another workout in the books. Don't forget, in order to know how long every workout is and what you're focusing on and if you need equipment or not, make sure you grab your workout calendar. That also helps you switch days around. So if you need to modify a rest day to another day, you'll know kind of what to choose there. Or if you have a little less time or more time per workout than the one I have planned, at least you can stick with the same muscle group, right? So if I have a 40 minute glute and you have if you want to work for 30 minutes, you can find one on the channel that still focuses on glutes, but you can still get that workout in. Come on up, shift it down. The calendar is just your accountability tool to make it work for yourself throughout the month. So you can have all the info that you need. If you need nutrition help, join me in the Sydney Squad where we can help you there. Nutrition program, recipes, <sighs> accountability challenges, live Q and A's with myself. Shift it up. Great workout today. I'm really proud of you. Finish one more workout tomorrow in this style, this endurance fire style. And then, as you'll see on the workout calendar, we rock into a new style of training on Monday. So if you're doing this real time, it'll all change up after tomorrow's workout. Okay, bend your knees and slowly roll it up. Heel to glute if you can. And if you need to, you can bend down, grab your foot, and then straighten it up. I saw a couple people saying it takes them a little while to get their stretch here. So just bend down if you need to, grab it, and then straighten up. All right, switch legs. Keep stretching, things from your feet up. So ankle joints, imperative to good squat depth. So make sure you're stretching your ankles so your calves are not so tight. Knees, if your knees are tight, foam roll your quads. Stretch your hamstrings, okay? If your hips are tight, you're probably in this position a lot during the day, right? So I need you to get into the opposite of that position, which is here, okay? So a couple times a day, stand up, open your hips up from the front, and then also we can do this together to the side. Great job, and then the rotation. And that will close out our workout today, guys. Before you head out, check to make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and give it a thumbs up, just to let me know that you're here and you crushed the workout. Don't forget how big of a deal mobility is in your best workouts, okay? If your hips are tight, you're never gonna get that full hip extension glute activation, which is the most powerful, the most effective for your glutes. If your shoulders or your lats are tight, you're not gonna get the best shoulder press because all of this is tight versus if it wasn't, you could open up here for that full press. Everything matters in terms of posture and mobility for your best workouts. It's not just me being a fitness stretching obsessed personal trainer. I want you to feel good and I want you to work out well. So stretch, keep that going. The stretch calendar is a part of every single workout calendar. So I link a stretch for every single day from the channel that matches up to the workout. So check that out in the description below. Comment that you crushed the workout and I'll see you back here for tomorrow's workout. Great job.